had this sweet young man come to my office a while back and he was 12 years old. And um, his mom had, had been to everyone and she had been, even currently, she was working with um, acupuncturists and chiropractic and a cranial osteopath and even considering um, putting her child on depression, anxiety medicine at 12 years old because he was having seizures. He was having multiple seizures every night where his eyes would roll back and his body would shake. And so she started to monitor how many seizures he was having per night and they would be up to 10. And the seizures then started to creep into his school and he's 12, right? And he'd be walking down the hallway and all of a sudden these seizures would happen. And one time he fell and, and it was so embarrassing that now he really doesn't wanna to go to school. I mean, you can imagine. So not only is it fearful to go to sleep, it's also fearful to go to school. And pretty soon this, these seizures have become a monster in his life and his family's life. So they came to me for help. And so what I told, I sat down with him and I told him all about what I do. But I said, the main thing we're gonna do is help move energy through your body. And when I do Reiki, Rei means God's knowledge and Ki means life energy. So I told him, we're gonna ask God to come in and move the energy that's getting stuck in your body that's happening with the seizures and happening at night. And I said, so I'm gonna do a physical release of your stuck energy in your body through the fascial stretch. And then I'm going to do a more mystical healing with God's energy coming through. And at 12, he's like, great. He was, he was so sweet. He's like, yes, I want that. And um, so if you watched any of my videos, I'm intuitive. So I'm working on his body and these images and these messages are coming through. And so I feel like God tells me what to tell my clients that is coming through their body in certain areas that are stuck tissue because the fascial tissue holds memory. So as we're going through his body, there was a lot of emotion coming out about his family, about his childhood, about losing his grandparents, about school and sports and all this stuff that's very typical that can cause a lot of stress and anxiety in all of us, but especially at 12 years old. So we sit there, we talked about it, and he just said, yes, 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 yes. And I, great. I, and I always tell even you know my, my older clients, if I feel it, it means it's coming out. So thank it and let it go, you know, just keep releasing. And he was like, yes, yes. So the whole time he was like, so on board. And then when it came to Reiki and I said, now I'm going to do Reiki. I'm going to put my hands on the back of your head, top of your head, on your chest, your solar plex, your hips, your legs and your feet. And he's like, okay. And I said, all you do is have to, again, say the prayer, the intention in your heart for what you want. So he quietly said his prayer and I started and he opened his eyes. He goes, I feel really tired which is super common in Reiki. It's, it's the divine energy coming through and it's just crazy peaceful. I said, that's perfect. He goes, can I go to sleep? I said, yes, go to sleep. So he went to sleep and I did Reiki on him and all, I just, I can feel energy. So all this other energy was coming out and I felt God just hugging on him and loving on him. And I just felt that energy flowing through his body. And usually if you watch any of my videos, again, I stay until I feel there is a, from a head to a toe, flow of the chi, the life force in people. And so at this particular time, I felt like his chi was running great. He was passed out sleeping. I did the prayer protection over him. We were done and we were done. I went out and told his mom some stuff and um, I came in and tried to wake him up, but he was, he was actually snoring. It was cute. Passed out. Long story short, he finished. And he said, that was really fun. I really liked it. And I said, great. I go, you got a lot of healing. He said, he, he said, he said I feel really good. Well, the cool part is they went home and the first night, that night, he had four seizures instead of 10. And so the mom was like, wow, and no seizures during the day. And the next night it was like something like two seizures instead of 10 and no seizures during the day or at school. And then by the third night, no seizures. And he has been over a week now with no seizures. And this has been going on for years. And she called me the other day and she was like, Kristen, oh my gosh, she just was, so thrilled. So, so she said, I want to come once a month, uh, once a week for a month, because really all of us need to learn how to keep that energy from getting stuck in our body. So from here on out, I've been teaching him how to, um, release thoughts that no longer serve him. Just like I do my older clients. Um, I just, I, I still do the physical releasing and the, um, spiritual releasing through the Reiki. And he just has been giving his life back. So as 12 years old, nobody wants to be having seizures 
all night long when you need to sleep and or during school. The embarrassment of it and the fear of it was just making his world very small. So open your eyes and, and open your heart to the wonder and mystery of divine healing and um, know that you are not stuck with your pain or your illnesses, that it can move through you. And a lot of times it's stuck emotion and a lot of times it's stuck anxiety and things like that that we just have held onto in our bodies. Thank you and have a great day.